Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're gonna go ahead and continue with our collective reads. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. And if it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. All right, click on continue to get more energy about whatever the situation was that was kind of falling out today. You know, somebody was just flipping out, having a whole hissy fit about something, but there were some shenanigans. There was some bad juju behind it. You know what I'm saying? Um, the, you know, Magician and the Inverse came out on my last reading about why you needed to step away from something. Something nefarious was going on. Um, I believe that somebody was trying to put you into a situation to force you into doing something, you know, that was not necessarily your responsibility, but you were being made to handle something, you know, wherever the, the situation resonates, whether this is a work situation, I do get very heavy work, but this could be your ex as well. So place the energy wherever it resonates with whomever this person is, whether it's in a personal situation with an ex friend or family member or a work situation, place the energy wherever it resonates, whatever it was. There was some shenanigans going on in the background that you didn't know about. And in my last reading, I did get the energy that you were being called to step away. And, you know, this is the energy that, you know, I feel that you would have gotten downloads on because you're getting guidance in a situation. Like somebody is just trying to do you dirty and tried to be like, mm, look at the collective squirm. Y'all, we're in that Capricorn full moon. You should be able to see it hopefully um, th this evening. This is a time where we're clearing out all toxic relationships, toxic connections. If you don't mean me no good, I gotta go. You know, even if this is like a work situation to where you can handle this situation. The question uh, that you should be asking yourself is should you? Also, you know, this Capricorn full moon is definitely calling you to make sure that you are grounding yourself, um, you know, and not reacting out of your emotions because clearly somebody else on the other side of the fence is whoever this Queen of Swords and the Inverse is. Mm -hmm. That Magician and the Inverse energy came out in my last reading. And it's, this is a confirmation of the manipulation that was going on. This is who it is, okay? <laughs> this Queen of Swords and the Inverse is a liar, a manipulator, somebody who's very vindictive. I believe there is a lot of vindictiveness behind this. You know who this is, okay? So if this resonated in a work situation, whatever popped up on your workload that they tried to make you do to tell you that it was your job to do, there's manipulation behind that. Somebody was trying to be vindictive and sneaky about it. Y'all, I'm telling you, there was a reason why you were being called to back away because somebody was trying to do this to you on the sneak tip. This is what it was, you know what I'm saying? This person, I believe would have been like nice, nasty to you, try to like really cover it up. But at the same time, there was heavy vindictiveness behind this because they were trying to take your ten of pentacles, trying to take your inheritance, your family ties, right? Your foundation, your stability. My download is telling me um, this has to do with like a come up of some kind. Somebody was trying to get a come up off of you by manipulation. Y'all, whoever this is, got to be somebody really, really lazy right that's got to try to steal a come up off of you and it, it does manipulation to do it you know what i'm saying whoever this person is they can't get this ten of pentacles you already had it because um on my last video you came out as a star you came out as a strength energy you came out as the knight of pentacles all that energy is yours right so somebody who can't do you know to get that energy themselves to be able to get this ten of pentacles they have to manipulate because they move in the world in the inverse energy. They're, the problem is they're delayed. They're having setbacks. And this is wanting, um, you know, this is unmerited success. They wanted a come up off of your hard work. Somebody, and I'm, I'm getting like a very specific energy. It's like you did something, right? You already did it. It's already said done over with. So somebody like tried to come back behind you and say, you missed a spot. You should have did this. This is what I'm getting as an example in the in the energy, right? So, you know, however the situation resonates, somebody wanted a come up off of your accolade, something that you already done, something that you are already known for. You are the star. You are the person with the strength, the backbone, the ability to do to already have this Ten of Pentacles. So somebody was trying to get a come up off of you. This was your Ten of Pentacles, not theirs. That's what they had to try to manipulate you for. Y'all, I can't with it. I can't with it. This world in the inverse is also talks about lack of effort. Like I said, a very, very lazy person, whoever this Knight of Cups in the inverse person is, somebody who is a manipulator. We got two cards of manipulation. Y'all couldn't tell me that y'all wouldn't be a manipulator from one side to the other, <laughs> okay? Manipulation is heavy here. So you notice you got cup energy. You notice you got sword energy here. 
So manipulations in your emotions, right? I feel like this is like trying to make you attach to it. That's why I was feeling yesterday and today as well. Somebody trying to make something your responsibility. That cup energy would have made you feel responsible for it and attached to whatever it was that they were trying to manipulate. Y'all, this is a sly dog, sly devil. Um, and it would have been communicated to, you know, sword energy, words, you know, things that are in writing, things of that nature. But this, uh, Nat of Cups, this is a very obsessive person. This is somebody who can't let something go. First of all, this is not the Ten of Pentacles, okay? <laughs> I don't care that it's coming out right next to them. It's not theirs. It's yours. You know what I'm saying? So this is like somebody who's like obsessed with your accolades, obsessed with your success, obsessed with how you come out shining, obsessed with what you got. You know what I'm saying, Clefta? They want what you got and they're willing to do anything to get it. This also might be, you know, an obsessive lover who can't let you go. The fact that you are moving on without them and you are happy without them, you don't need them, you don't need their drama. This is who it is. It's not a cups, uh, a particular person, right? This is also unrealistic uh, about how they how they view things. Very, very unrealistic. And this is a double confirmation. Wow. Y'all, I don't care who this is. This could even be your mother. This, <laughs> Whoever this person is, you got Knight of Cups in the inverse here. You got Ten of Cups in the inverse here. Y'all, so you got double manipulation, double unrealistic about what they're doing. This person's out of their flipping mind, okay? <laughs> this person's not right in the head. Like, legit, I don't care who this person is. This person's Ten of Cups in the inverse person. They're not happy. They're very not, not content unrealistic goals about how they try to go about things that heavy manipulation you know what i'm saying also this is somebody who has you know commitment issues right somebody who you might have fell out with so possibly an ex possibly you know somebody who you, you kind of cut off at work right whoever this particular person is this is double confirmation all the way down doubling down on the manipulation doubling down on how unrealistic they are to try to get what's already yours and here's the solidifier right here coming out right under the ten of pentacles that's the Ten of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands. Trying to block you. Trying to block you from your own abundance. If that person ain't out of there, where right mind, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's not theirs in the first place. This person, oh my God. They're not in the right mind. Whoever this person is, right? You know, they do feel the Wheel of Fortune in the inverse. They are resisting change. They do feel out of control, very insecure, and they're having bad luck. This is somebody who sees a chance to get something and they're like flipping out about it. It's, I feel like they spaz. Um, in my last reading, I heard um, anxiety and panic attacks. So if you're around this person, you would have seen them visibly uncomfortable, right? So, you know, this is the second time this energy is coming to me. Somebody really wants something of yours so bad. I feel like it's an accolade. An accolade. It's like something that you're known for, something that you do and exude naturally. This is your Ten of Pentacles that Most High God has already promised you and that you're walking in. That new start, we have been having that energy come out, um, you know, for the, for the during the week, right? You know, you getting a new start and somebody who you left behind, they don't like your new start. They want to stop it. And here it is yet again. Somebody who wants to stop your new start. They don't like the way you're being seen. They don't like the way you're walking, talking, acting. You're a little half falutin for them. So here they go trying to bring you down. Hater. Whoever this King of Pentacles and the inverse is told you. Somebody who wanted to get back control of something. Y'all, I do not make up the energy. It's right here. This person feel like you're out, you're out of their control. You're out of the loop, right? So they need to kind of do something to try to steal from you. However, this shows up, whether it's monetary, energetically, spiritually, you know, reputationally, however, this shows up because they want to try to get control back with this King of Pentacles and the inverse energy. This is a very materialistic, heavy materialistic. It's all about what they're known for and what you can't be known for. It's like, if you show up like they say they are, then they can't be it. Now, can they? They can't have that, which is why they're in our, their own delusions about what they're doing, what they're saying, and how they're acting right now. This person's not in their right mind, right? This King of Pentacles is also, you know, not only dominant, but materialistic, but very chaotic and undisciplined in their energy, especially financially. You cannot tell me that a King of Pentacles in the inverse naturally carries Ten of Pentacles in the upright. You can't tell me that. They wouldn't know what to do with this. That's why the Most High God didn't trust them with this, this inheritance. This inheritance is yours. This could very well be uh, just purely spiritual. This Ten of Pentacles, right? You know, the, the way that you're being seen right now is your Ten of Pentacles. The way that you're being seen and acknowledged because you did come out as a star 
in my last reading, that is your inheritance that the Most High God gave you. You cannot tell me that belongs to this King of Pentacles, but that's what they want other people to believe. I can't, because they do carry the death in the inverse. They're stuck in the past, they're resisting change, and they do not want something to end. They don't want it to end because they want the one that wanted the Ten of Pentacles. They wanted that inheritance. They wanted those family connections. They wanted to be known for what you're known for. But it doesn't matter. It's not theirs. It was not promised to them. God promised it to you. You know what I'm saying? So when you walk like it, talk like it, and you're very confident in what Most High God has promised you, people are triggered, like super triggered. You know what I'm saying? Um, but here's what's interesting, right? Something, something happened today with your page of swords. Uh, this is your energy coming out as a page of swords. Very talkative, uh, very clever, very witty. You have a lot of thoughts and ideas. One, I think that and you, you came out as like having strength in the Knight of Pentacles, like you're trying to push through, soldier on through the situation, right? If this is this ex, this ex tried to put something in your, in your way to stop you. You're just like, nah, you're not gonna stop me. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you said something to this person. This person is coming out as the Empress and the Inverse. For some of you, this might be the exact same person that I'm pulling up here. For others, I might, it might be pulling a different person. I do feel multiple energies, um, multiple people in this particular energy. So place the energy wherever it resonates, where this is, you talk to this Empress and the Inverse, or you talk to whoever this person is up here, that's just out of their absolute mind, right? But your Page of Swords, I feel like you came up with something to help with the situation because that was your energy you're coming out as a star you have the strength to overcome the situation very very committed energy i feel like you wanted to fix this problem but you were called to back away right you're being called to back away because they were trying to steal something from you and it was going to be yours regardless all right collective but whatever this page of swords is you were getting downloads i know you were getting downloads but i feel like you talked to whoever this person is or somebody else connected to it again i do feel multiple people in this situation there's a bunch of people who are not in a happy place right now, all because you're shining. Whoever it is, one of these people is the Empress and the Inverse, a very neglectful, um, you know, this is somebody who does not care. They're, they're not caring. They're not abundant. They don't carry this Ten of Pentacles either. So if this is one person, if this is a second person, you talk to a second person, or this might be the same person. Again, if this uh, place energy wherever resonates, you talk to somebody about trying to, to, to deal with the situation in the best way possible. This is a communicator, right? This person didn't give a crap what you were talking about. They didn't care. Literally, the Empress and the Inverse did not care. If And I feel like if this is like a, a third person or a fourth person involved in this particular situation, this is somebody who's just as deep as whoever this person is. They're in it deep with them. And y'all, this is like weird... A weird situation it's like once somebody like touches the poop they all got a, they all got poop on their hands you know what i'm saying not, not to get like too gross but it's something that like it you no know, who whoever was a part of this manipulation because we got double manipulation here we've got double unrealistic goals there's more than one person in this situation that was trying to manipulate you out of your abundance you know out of what god promised you to be able to be seen as to be shining as right there's more than one person involved here. So if this is a, another person in this situation, you know, this person would have been like, mm, okay, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't really care what you got going on, whatever. I feel like this is like a blow off. This is what I, I feel. I feel like this in person, the inverse person would have blown you off and not taken what you were talking about very seriously. So you're just like, all right, cool. Peace, buddy. <laughs> not a pinnacles. I'm going to get my personal success somewhere else by myself. This is you being very single, self-sufficient, independent, which is a contrast to, um, and it's really interesting that it's coming out right next to the people who want to manipulate you, who are very obsessed about controlling you. And you're just like, no, it was whatever you said to this person that was a straw that broke the camel's back is when I'm getting this energy. You're like, all right, you don't care about me. You don't care about what I got going on. Chuck and the deuces. I got to go. I can be, I can be successful by myself. Quite right, you have all nine of pentacles. One, this ten of pentacles was yours. But check this out, y'all. Um, I don't care if this is one person up here who is super obsessive and manipulative, and this is the second person. It doesn't matter. You're coming out separating yourself from everybody that was attached to the situation. Everybody, you're coming out as the nine of pentacles, but you got the page of pentacles right next to it. I feel like, and this is where it's coming across kind of funny to me, whatever you said to this person and they felt like they can just kind of blow you off about the situation, um, 
that was that was the straw that broke the camel's back to you because one here go to your page of pentacles this is talking about what you invest in you being very practical about a situation heavy pinnacle energy you're grounded and they're not so you have the wits about you to handle this situation the right way and what i'm what i'm getting here is one this ten of pinnacle was always uh, belonged to you it's already yours right let me move this over here it was already yours they were trying to block you from what God has already promised you, right? But here's this page of pentacles, what you invested in. I believe you disconnected what you were invested in with this ridiculousness because of whatever this person said to you to blow you off. This is what I'm getting in this energy, y'all. This person, whoever these people are, they did not understand that you were the one that had the ability to handle whatever the situation was, whether it was yours to handle or not, you are being called to back away because nobody was about to have your back. Come on, collective. This is what I'm getting in this situation. Nobody was about to have your back, or at least you saw that finally, which is why you actually disconnected from this. You got your nine of pentacles here, your page of pentacles, one and nine equals 10. Honey, y'all, you are already going to have your, are your 10 of pentacles. This person and or people could not have stolen it from you. It was not theirs to steal. And that's why the four of wands and the inverse is coming out right next to them. This whole cockamamie plan to manipulate you out of your abundance fail or it's not going to turn out as they hope you know what i'm saying this this energy of the fool in the inverse is our final clarifier what's getting canceled is a reckless childish foolish behavior when it came to you y'all y'all were being called to back out of the situation because nobody was about to have your back you were in it by yourself people wanted to kind of throw you to the wolves let you hang let you kind of do whatever you do to kind of you know get the accolades and to come up the you know off of you like oh my god the collective can't handle it this is all the collective's fault you know they, it was their call to handle it this was all straight manipulation based on the backs of people who are unrealistic unrealistic about your energy who you are how you move and what you were promised to be seen as they can't take this from you that's why you are being called to leave and when you left that triggered this four of wands canceling this ridiculous foolish behavior y'all followed y'all intuition i love how this is coming out for y'all let's go ahead and get um uh, astrology card to see what energy is at work here part two the moon yes so um we are in our um capricorn uh, strawberry moon here so hopefully you do get to be able to get a good glimpse at it you know focus on making sure that you're committed to grounding your energy not letting any of these fools take you off of your path you know what i'm saying collective what does your gut say the moon asks this card is all about mystery feeling and hidden messages the moon is receptive it governs intuition and self-protection its placements by sign and house indicate those areas to which we are the most emotional and sensitive the moon represents what is felt instinctively and what is at the core of our emotions in the astrological chart the moon is our soul it shows the intimate side of who we are the moon represents security the home that we grew up in and the need to hide away and recoup our energies crowds belong to the moon but also shyness reticence and things that occur in the darkness the moon shows how we respond emotionally and what we feel most deeply some believe the moon represents who we are in secret and also memories from and who we were in past lives the moon is also our most innermost selves about this matter, do not be shy. Allow yourself to shine. This card indicates fluctuations in your life. The moon changes signs every two and a half days, so 12 different moon combinations mean great variations. But the moon is the side that we keep concealed. In the horoscope chart, when the moon has many aspects or is the most elevated planet in the chart, it is considered to have a strong influence. The lunar influence can be indicative of future fame, governing the masses, what is likely to be popular at that time. At this time, you may have trouble controlling your emotions and you may want to do things that are safe. You are very sensitive and you must gauge any feelings before entering a room or being with people that you don't know. You like working alone, but you are also dependent on how others are responding to you at this time. The arts and helping profession suits you. You would do well working, working with persons with mental or emotional problems or anyone that needs counseling. It is also a good time to rely upon your imagination and pay attention to your dreams. When this card turns up in a reading, all is not as it seems because something is being obscured. You may feel you have lost your direction or that you do not have all the information to go forward. There is much you are sensing, but you may not, but you may be hesitant to act. It may look as if it is difficult to cut through the fog and to get real truth of any situation. After growing close to someone, the energy may feel smothering and restrictive. Insecurities may arise and there may be feelings of paranoia. We love our moon though. She makes us feel safe. So someone's emotional cleanliness may be an issue. 
After all, the moon tells us to hang on. Oftentimes, after we have after we should have released things long ago and given up. But no, the moon chimes in. Hang in there. You'll win sooner or later. It's important now to not accept any false pictures or uh, misinterpreted truths. Like with the Neptune card, with the moon card, deception is possible. Things are cloudy right now. It is a good time to open your mind to visions, as well as appreciating women's wisdom and intuition, finding your feminine side, and bringing out your visions and talents in a more public way. As, as shy and tentative as the moon is, she still represents fame and crowds. When you think of the moon card, think mystery, birth, tribes, unanswered questions, and sometimes sudden fame. An important meeting for you may occur in the evening hours. Pay close attention to the energies that swirl around you. It's a good time to rely on your gut. And you absolutely did. This is what I was getting in the earlier reading. You relied on your gut. You were being called to back away. You know, the moon energy is at work here. People are really reacting out of their emotions and really being really manipulative in our cup energy, their sword energy, because they're very, very unrealistic about what, what God has promised you and how you are being promised to shine in this situation. You're shining by yourself and not around people who don't care about you and what you got going on, right? Let's get an Archeo card to see what personality types we're dealing with here. We got a lion. I do believe that you are showing some lion energy. Very courageous in the, in the face of whoever it was that was trying to manipulate you in the situation, right? If you can convince him to be with you, you will also learn to temper your spurious inclinations. And if circumstances demand it, you'll be able to call upon his massive strength and ferocity. But he's not your pet. His noble heart exists to protect the abused and misused, and he abhors the cruelty of self-serving authority. The lion has learned to tame his youthful inclinations that once led him to waste his power. Instead, through resolve and self-restraint, he has harnessed his stamina. Merely watching his massive shoulder blades rising and falling like pistons informs you of the force contained within his frame. Noble of heart and slow to stir, the lion is, for the most part, passive. But when provoked, he possesses a formidable force. When rampant, his will is uncontainable and he will snap any chains placed upon him as if they were cotton thread. Mm. If you are able to convince the lion to accompany you, his presence will give you great security. However, you must never take him for granted. Whilst he will defend you against any threat, he is principally there to protect the abused and those oppressed by authoritarian misrule. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. This line energy was you being that line for yourself and kind of protecting yourselves from any person or persons that were trying to misuse and abuse you to try to get a come up off of your accolades, trying to get a come up off of your shine, your, your star energy. That's the way the Most High has guaranteed you to walk in. This is your abundance. It's not theirs. You, my friend, are a lion and they are swimming in that moon energy. Um, make sure to take advantage of this moon energy, you know, and take care of your meditations and really clearing out any of this negativity. Focus on yourself right now. Focus on your independence. This is what the Most High God has granted you the ability to do under this Strawberry and Capricorn moon. That's going to go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.